Hey kids. Alright, here's our stash of gold foils that we've harvested over the last year. And this is a cubicle. We're going to refine this gold using the cubicle without using any nitric acid whatsoever. Well, you all are just really tickled by that, aren't you? You. Okay. We're going to give this a good bath, soaking in hot hydrochloric acid. Cause it's got some crap in it. I want to get out of it. Okay, melt it down into whatever alloy it is. It's tested 20k and above. So and then we're going to put it in this little sucker. And we're going to drop some uh, some lead in with it. I ain't sure how much yet. And when we add the lead, the lead will bond and oxidize, if we're getting everything correct, to all the base metals that's in this stuff. And then this will absorb the lead. So what you're left with is a nice little button of mostly pure, refined gold. So we're going to take this outside. I don't have my ventilation done yet for this here. Well, there it is. All right. I'm going to add about 100 milliliters of distilled water. And about, I don't know, 150 milliliters of hydrochloric acid, or maybe a fraction of that. All right, we'll be back. All right, we're going to do a quick stennis chloride test. Make sure that we didn't use any uh, tap water. It, you know, be some chlorine residue that would make a weak uh, aqua regia and would put some of this in solution. So we're going to test this and see if uh so what we got and nothing absolutely positively nothing that's good news so we don't have we didn't make a weak aqua regio well, here we go We'll filter this out and let's we'll see what we got. Okay, I need to put this camera down so I can wash this out. Like that. <laughs> now that is a impressive wad of gold. It's heavy too. But it's dirty. It's nasty. So we're gonna give it a couple. There's a little bit of fiber from the boards and stuff in there. A little bit of this junk. That will burn up at the, at the furnace. Hey guys, we are going to take some of the gold here, well, one gram, and we are going to put it into Aqua Regia. Let's put it in that little spicy jar there. We'll go with a half a gram. Okay, a full gram, we'll go with a half a gram. That will work. Okay, so we know what we got now. We ain't worried about the weight no more. The scale's irrelevant. So turn it off. And we'll pour a little hydrochloric acid in it. Right. And you'll see here in a second how easy this is to go in a solution. Very slowly. Put ML with nitric acid. This nitric acid is a couple years old. I hope it has a little fruit. Looks like we have a reaction. New. Beautiful. Alright, we're we'll just sit here and watch it work.
gonna do a stainless chloride test real quick to make sure we have golden solution. Sure is a pretty color. Okay. So oh yeah. Lots of gold. Lots of golden solution. Very heavily concentrated. Big time. It's a beautiful color there. Okay. What we have left in here is a bunch of trash. Right there. See that? That is a bunch of trash. PCB parts. Probably some lead. But, thankfully, hopefully no tin. Because the gold is staying in solution. Alright. We're going to get this filtered out. Let's take a look at this crap. Yeah, it's a bunch of crap. But I want to get the gold out of there. I have to put this camera down to do it. The bottle is almost full. We'll probably save that filter paper. Is there probably some little residual gold? That's about dried out pretty. So, we're going to get these in the containers. These filter papers, I'm going to check the weather real quick and see if we can set up the furnace without a thunderstorm. Drop it on top of our heads. And uh, we'll be back. All right, we're back. Go ahead and take this paper down. We'll dump it here. For the time being, leave it alone. This one here, I'm going to gather up putting this in. So, give me a second. All right. So, we have our little little bottle of gold. That's labeled, labeled. God. <laughs> it's funny. There's the, what's going in the furnace. This is just going to go into our collection. All right. Where gold is in there. This is the first light off of this thing. <sighs> Got the gloves. Get it all set up. All right, we got it in. It's cooking. This is the first light off with this thing. Temperature slowly climbing. So, as long as it's climbing, we're good. I got this to blow the fumes away. There's some pretty nasty fumes that comes off that. With the being wet with hydrochloric acid, it's still a little damp, but it ain't gonna hurt nothing. I don't think. But you can smell it. That's why I got this fan here. So. I have to watch this day and it doesn't burst into flames. All right, this thing's still climbing. We're still good. It's just gonna, it's gonna take a while. Probably got half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour for this thing to reach, reach temperature, but we're gonna get there. I feel it. Good positive vibes, we'll be back. Kids, don't ever think about doing this. Cooking some gold without this. Respirator, safety glasses, heat gloves. You better have it. Proper tongs. That comes with the kit. But you better have the respirator and the glasses. Do not go without this stuff. It might be your own to your own peril if you want to be a hot dog with this stuff. But always wear a respirator. Now I have lung problems. And well, you know, of course I'm wearing it. But you absolutely have to wear this respirator when you do this. The fumes will get in your lungs and destroy them. So be safe. Always have a fire extinguisher, gloves, ready to rock and roll, and we'll fill in the pour. All right, we're about 20, uh, 25 degrees Celsius away from pour. This little thing's done all right. I'm impressed so far. The Chinese stuff makes me nervous. That's why it's outside. This with a fire extinguisher, but I'm checking everything with them, you know. Making sure nothing's going really crazy over. It's good. Check the cord. The cord's got up to 90, 90 degrees. Mm. It's all right. You check the switch. See if things are getting going crazy overheating. It's not. Is that? 758 degrees right there. 
All right. We are minutes away from poor, so we'll get set up. Uh oh. emergency mode yeah what happened there what did I do that I screwed everything up I believe I have a theory that the carrot weight of that gold was not as it seemed I think it was more like 10 carat okay it's the 20 carat but it tested out to over 20 carat it is what it is. So now, we scraped up everything out of the pan, stuck it in a beaker, and uh, we're putting it into Aqua Regia. We've uh, added about 25 ml of distilled water, 25 ml to 30 ml of hydrochloric, and actually more than that, probably about 100 ml, 80 ml hydrochloric. Then about four or five ml of nitric acid, and we're just still seeing a reaction. So something's happening. We'll give it a few more minutes, and then I'm going to test with stannous chloride to see if we got gold in solution. Yeah, uh, all right. We'll let this dirty solution go a little further. We may need another dose of nitric. Then we may not. Here in about five minutes, we'll lay the status to it and see if we got gold in solution. All right. That last second dose of nitric is still reacting. We're just gonna put a third dose in, but what's the point? All right, we're gonna do a stannous. We're gonna do a stannous chloride test. Uh, cross your fingers. Hopefully, we didn't flash the gold up into outer space. Uh, solution is dirty though. Uh, here we go. What we got? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We have gold. Oh, a lot of gold. It's a good concentration. Put another dose of stainless on that. I'm going to take a couple drops. That's good. We're positive for gold. Okay, but I think the gold is getting dissolved and it's falling right back down. As fast as it can be dissolved. Because we got this material in the bottom it looks mysteriously like gold it looks like the reaction has slowed we'll go ahead and add another dose of nitric as soon as I say that it picks back up again because it's getting the material on the bottom that's why we're having a hard time this stuff settles so fast so that's my theory is that we got gold coming out of solution back down. Alright, we're only putting a small amount of nitric in here. Not a big amount at all. Just a little jump starter. Man, that doggone <laughs> crucible melted my camera. I had it too close. <laughs> it melted the sucker. It's all warped, like right here. Oh god, whatever. Right. We're gonna test this again for gold content and if it's got low or weak or disappeared then my theory is correct if not I'm wrong oh I'm definitely wrong that's a high concentration of gold very high concentration Ooh, it's getting stronger yes sir hey, I like I, I like being wrong <laughs> uh, let's put another couple milliliters of nitric acid we'll put one ml of nitric in there. And let's see if it still reacts. We still get a reaction. That's a half of it now. Looks like it's reacting to me. 
Go ahead and put another one in now. That's a half ml. So that's one and a half ml. And we're setting about six ml, I guess. Maybe a little less. Alright, I gave it one good stir and let's settle down. The, the reaction looks like you know, it's next to nothing. So we're going to give it another one ml of, of uh, nitric and uh, see if, if it has any life left in it. That may be our throat. I don't see no reaction whatsoever. So we're having some free nitric acid there. Well, put it in the solution. Maybe get rid of it. No reaction at all. Alright, let's do one more stannis. Make sure the gold hasn't come out of solution, which it shouldn't have. It would have reacted there if it did. This is kind of a moot point, but we're doing it anyways, just to be thorough. Alright. Whoa! Man, that's some concentrated gold in there. That's, that's a gold concentration there. Wow. Okay. We have gold in solution, and a lot of it, apparently. Or it's just very highly concentrated. But the nitric is just simply barely reacting. <laughs> ah. <sighs> Lovely. I'm gonna take some more stuff in the house here. Mm, that's cleaning up fairly nice. It's a little cloudy. It's to be expected very dirty. So now we got some hydrochloric acid and a little bit more distilled water in there. Now there was uh, some black material in the bottom of that. It seemed pretty dense. You see it settling out if you could get it on camera. Okay we're gonna lay the, the we're gonna lay the uh, nitric to it. Let's see if it reacts. We end up with more golden solution. I'm skeptical, but let's see. I hate wasting nitric acid. Absolutely hate it. Even the ML makes me shiver because it's so expensive. I need to order some. I got about a half a liter left. But I can make it. I got the distillation kit and all of the ingredients to make about two or three liters. Now, we're seeing Zilcho have a reaction. Whatever that black material is, it is nothing. There is no reaction whatsoever. Now, let's test it. I'm going to test it for gold content. Stannis chloride, of course. They might be trying to do something. Ah, we might be getting a reaction here. Yes, we are. There it goes. Yes. Okay, we still have, I guess we still have gold in there. What you see right there, we got a reaction. We have a reaction. It's doing its thing. So I think my theory was there's a you know something was pulling the gold out of solution, but it was buried. This there's some I don't know what this stuff is. I mean we just scraped up everything, swept up everything that was in the uh, the iron skillet. Well we pulled a, you know what was in that crucible. Or uh oh boy like oh crap. All right we're getting something going in solution. This is awesome. Okay we'll be back. All right, this has been reacting great. It's still going. So let's test this for Stannis. Let's, let's Stannis. Let's see if we have gold in the solution. There we go. 
Oh yeah. Oh brother, do we? High concentration of gold. So that black powder down there was gold. It was falling out of solution. Something was pulling it out. So hopefully it doesn't happen again, but that's a super concentrated gold solution already. It's still reacting, so lovely. Well, my theory was partially right. If you could see it, a little bit right there, that's gold. So we emptied everything out, filtered everything. The solution's cloudy, but that's expected. But it was being precipitated back out. That is gold. There's no doubt about that. So. Okay. There's our solution. Test very high concentration for gold. I'm convinced there's still gold in this. We'll do a third process out of that. I'm going to lay the sodium out of my sulfite to this. I hate this process. I usually do it in a control banner with a uh, sulfur dioxide gas generator uh, instead of just pouring SMB in here. Alright, here we go. some good sponge I'm gonna go get another beaker to pour this off in this was surface tension looks like it is this you know suspended this stuff is not wanting to play let's put it up and see what we got Woo. Oh, I'm gonna go just floating no settling just floating Ah, what a stupid problem to have. Look at that, how it's suspended in solution. Like the storms of Jupiter. Yeah. Alright. We're going to do a status on this. This is about settled down. So we can start pouring it off, washing this gold out. Hopefully. Alright, so we're going to test this out. A little stannous chloride. Let's see what we got here. Mm. Uh, looks like a whole lot nothing to me. Alright, alright. I said frig this. Went ahead to sign. I'm going to pour this off in the filter. But, it's a pretty good little slap of gold. Pretty good. Well, if we can keep this stuff settled down, if we keep this stuff settled down, We'll just wash it out. But sadly, and crappily, this fine stuff, look how fine that is. It's got to go through another process. All right, we're going to pour this off and we'll be back. All right, we got everything in the stock pot. But, as usual, as you can see it, I doubt it. There you go. There's a gold at the bottom of it. Always, never fails. That's a pretty good speck of gold. So I'm debating whether to filter this out or let it ride, but usually I empty this out pretty quick. So, all right, we cleaned out the stock pot. 
We got it in here too. It was pretty good. Pretty good looking gold. Actually, it was in there. So we're gonna process this tonight or early in the morning. Alright, we got this thing up to close to 90 degrees. It's getting there. Uh, it's warm. That's the way I want it. I don't want it boiling. You know, you can boil it if you want to, but I'm patient. But uh, we're going to go ahead and add some nitric. And then we're going to start off with about, probably about 4 ml. And uh, slowly, of course. And uh, let's get this party started. Alright, I got impatient. I went ahead and filtered it out. I was not seeing any reaction. I put about 20 ml of nitric acid in that solution, and I, I didn't see nothing. There was no reaction. But it went into solution. We got some pretty good looking gold here. All right, we're doing a second filtration. Weird, it, I'm not seeing a reaction like I thought I would, but it's definitely gold, and it's definitely gold in solution. We're gonna test that right now to make sure we're gonna sample of that. Heavy gold, a lot of gold, a lot of gold. Okay, very heavily concentrated in gold. Excuse the fan noise, me chopping on chewing gum, but it is what it is. All right, we're gonna lay the sodium metabolic sulfite to this diluted solution. And uh, we'll follow Cody's way. And there it starts. Let that rock and roll out for a little bit. There we go. Excuse the chomping on the chewing gum. I know that has to be aggravated. I'll try to take it out and edit it out. I don't know, that looks like fine crap again, too. That's more SMB here. I think we can add a few more. Give it a second. We'll test it with status and see if we got everything out. All right. Yeah, we got some gold in there. If you can see that. It's laying on the bottom pretty good, but we got something suspended in solution. You can see there. We're going to add this again. Sorry for the chewing gum. We're going to add this to the uh, to the furnace. We cook it. When we uh, cook this, this looks. Pretty good. We'll find out here in a minute how good it is. Okay, we've watched this about five times. Really uh, settles nicely. It's able to be washed. We're gonna get hit. This, of course, that's gold. No, not a bad little batch of gold. Not a bad batch of gold for what five, six grams of gold fingers, or they're falls off. This little beaker weighs 47.23 grams. We're gonna get this and this dried out. You gotta wait. Ah, I'm betting about a half, well, that might be about a gram. Well, there you have it, folks. It's part of your gold. 47.23 grams. We'll dry this out, bet it's half a gram or less. Now you look at it, and I've got a dusting here. It's gonna all go in the same pot. Let's see what kind of beaten gap. Yeah. I tell you what, I was getting ready to put that filter paper that came out of here. It came from this batch in here, just to stock it up. There's probably a quarter of the amount of gold in here that's in here. There's a butt ton of gold in this filter. So it's going special in here. I'm gonna leave these out of the furnace. This one's going to the furnace. Well, right, Rocco. Well, we've about got our gold dried out. We'll just make a short work of it. Alright guys, there it is, 
Made quick work of it, about an hour. Dried it out real nice. That's our gold. Okay, let's get a weight on this. This was 47, two, three grams to start. And it is 48.59 right now. Little simple math. Uh, that's 1.34 grams. All right, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna cook the gold in, indoors in the shop. Have an exhaust vent. Yes, sir. On the way out. To exhaust the fumes. Lights cooking. It's industrial. Well, you, well, you know, it's not pretty what we do. Sometimes you got to get shipyard industrial to get the job done. That's what we're doing here. And I think it'll work. Sorry, sorry I didn't show you the pour, but right here. Ow, it's still hot. We have gold. Itty bitty, titty winny, pity of gold. But it's in there with a bunch of ashes from those filters. But, uh, nice and shiny. We're going to get it on the scale and see what we got. Alright. Put the thing on, center, zeroed out. And we got 0 0.29, 0 0.31 grams of gold. I bet you there's still gold in that crack right there. I'm gonna look through the ashes because I thought I saw a couple of little gold specks. I bet we got a bunch of little gold BBs in those ashes that didn't coalesce with this one, which means we're gonna have to use some lead or something to suck it all together. All right, we picked quite a few gold little BBs, and we have some gold specks in this material. Very fine, very small. But they're in there, so we're going to suck this up and save it and put it in our stock pot. You can see the gold right there. All right, a little bottle. What do we got? 4.01 grams. Okay, so we'll call it four grams. Bottle. Now we're going to put, uh, we've got a bunch of little gold BBs. Found a bunch of little gold BBs. Still some gold specks I panned out of the uh, rest of the material, but this is going to be too hard. It's going to roll around on the on the scale, so we're just going to put this stuff in the, this little bottle. I'll weigh it that way. Okay. So, there's our gold. Wow, we got a gram of gold. Ended up with a gram of gold. Okay. All right. I'm not complaining. We still have more to go, but pretty good. We'll take that. One gram out of six grams of gold foils? Absolutely take that. All right, we're done here. Bye.